2013 Camaro oil change. Things you're going to need. Six quarts of whatever oil you prefer. I've been using this 20,000 mile uh, full synthetic from Walmart, Super Tech. I've researched this. I forget who it is that makes it, but it's a quality oil. Um, now this one I used on the last oil change and it's got about two quarts in it. This is full. It takes six quarts of oil for the car. Um, this particular year make and model, the uh, oil filter, which is a CH8765. This is a Fram. I don't like Fram, but that's all they that's all they had at the store. Um, I use a half inch uh, ratchet with a, a 24 millimeter socket for the oil filter uh, cap and 15 millimeter wrench for the oil plug. So we're going to jack the uh, car up. Got the jack ready to go. Oh, got to have you a uh, kneeling pad. Uh, that'll save your knees. So let me get this thing jacked up. If you jack it up, use a uh, jack stand. You don't necessarily have to set the car back down on it, but put place that under the car so when you're sliding uh, out from underneath it and under it, uh, just in case that jack fails, uh, it, it comes down on the jack stand and not you. Uh, oh, and an oil pan. So I'm going to get this jacked up and get it ready to go, then we'll turn the camera back on. Okay, so the car's jacked up. Got the jack stand underneath it. And just so you know, you got a nice beefy part of the frame right there that's the perfect place to jack. Now, I don't have it sitting down on the jack stand. I've just got the jack stand positioned. So just in case the jack failed, I'm going to be on this side. I'm going to be on the passenger side. It'll come down on the jack stand. You got me a little piece of cardboard there just to kind of lay on. Get set up here. And what I do is I unscrew it, but I keep pressure on it, pushing towards the plug. And I don't release it until I, I see that it's getting ready to, to come. And then that's whenever I pull it out. Make sure you got a rag handy. So we're just going to let that drain. It's also a good idea to, have to, to drain it when it's warm, not hot. So if you haven't driven the car, start it up and just let it run for, you know, three, four, five minutes. And then uh, it'll drain a lot easier and a lot, a lot better. So we're just going to let that drain. Now you could, if I wasn't filming this, I'd go up top and start working on the oil filter. But I'm going to, I'm going to wait till this is finished. We're going to finish the, the bottom, and then we'll come back to the top. And kind of my rule of thumb. <clears throat> Is as you see the oil uh, pouring out, when it starts uh, breaking up, breaking up, when it's not a solid stream, I call it good. I put the plug back in, but it's up to you. If you want to sit there and keep waiting until you just get a few drops, then uh, that's fine. But I usually just got other things I want to get started on, so. Once it starts breaking into pieces, then uh, I'll throw this plug back in. Make sure the uh, plug gasket or O-ring, whatever your plug's got, is clean. Or I mean, not not. Make sure it's in good shape. The 
the rubber seal on this one still looks perfect so sometimes I got a copper washer make sure that's in good shape Call that good. Now, just another little tip. When you tighten it up, you don't have to bear down on it with a a uh, breaker bar just snug it up and that's all it's going to take let's go up okay so I went ahead and down jacked it now for the oil filter we're going to take the cover off here going to take the oil cap off then you're going to pull up on your cover and just set it to the side this is where the uh, 24 millimeter socket and uh, ratchet comes in And it's always a good idea to uh, have a rag handy, just in case oil starts pouring out of this. I always like to take a bag, get it ready, I'm disconnect that for now. And that way, as you can see, the, uh, the oil dripping, it's not dripping all over the place. So I'm just going to turn that, throw that down there in that bag. Now these oil filters should come with a new O-ring. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. You should have a new O-ring for that. Always a good idea to inspect your new uh, oil filter. Make sure you got it in the right groove. Don't think that that's the groove right there. It goes. That's the last threaded uh, spot. And you can just take. You know they. They'll typically tell you use new oil to lubricate the O-ring. But you know what? My entire life, I've just rubbed my finger on some of the old, and I have never noticed a problem. And again, this doesn't have to be tight. It's an O-ring seal. Just snug it up. That's all you need right there. 
I've done these where people have tightened those up so tight I thought I was going to have to cut them off. Okay, now put oil in it. So this this jug's got two ports. So we're going to start with that. Whoop. And I've had good luck with this twenty thousand mile oil. Now I use if I didn't say it in the beginning, I use the 20,000 mile full synthetic super tech. Oil's not cheap anymore. And I don't even come close to 20,000 miles in this car. I think we do go by the oil reminder uh, or service light and uh, it's usually around 7,500 miles whenever it goes off. So even if you went with the 10,000 mile Super tech oil, you, you'd you'd still be fine. I am a Valvoline guy. I like Valvoline, but Valvoline is about twenty five dollars for a uh, five quart jug at Walmart, and this Super Tech is sixteen. And I do believe the Super Tech will be. Uh, be just fine if I see any evidence that uh, it's just sludging up or anything then I will uh, switch back to Valvoline so I need to leave one quart in this jug to equal the six that the car takes. About half a quart more. Okay, there we go. It's probably a good idea to wipe this out whenever you've got it off. And that's it. Start it up, make sure there's oh, there's one more thing. You gotta reset the uh, counter. You wanna make sure there's no leaks. I know the hood's open. And let's see right there. So we want to uh, remaining on live zero. Uh, set cleared to reset. So, uh, whoop, hold on. I'm going to push and hold the button. I'm sorry. I'm just going to push this button. Rotate to yes. Then I'm going to hit that same button right there. 100%. So you're good now. And let's see, I was wanting to see the miles that I've got on this car now. Of course, you always want to pay attention to your oil uh, pressure. If you start it up and there's no oil pressure, you can guarantee it's all running out of the bottom. Double check, make sure there's no oil coming out of your filter uh, can. And it's always obviously a good idea, a good time to uh, check everything else. You know, your coolant, your uh, brake fluid, washer fluid, all the other stuff, air filter. But I'm not. 
One more thing, uh, your old oil, what I do, what I like about this particular type of oil can or pan, and I've had this thing for probably 30 years, it's a uh, Wedco, I don't know if you can see that, W-E-D-C-O, I don't know if they're still in existence or not, I bought it years and years ago, but that thing is heavy duty and it's the most handy uh, oil pan, catch pan that I've ever had. But I just pour this oil back into the old jug that uh, that it came in, and you just take it up to any auto parts store, and they recycle it. You just drop it off to them. That's all you got to do. So anyway, this job's done. You guys take care.